why you dey buy it? Yeah. Take product to yeah. you. Make you dey careful, no go damage your life. You've got one life to live. My original. You should know where to go. The SOL. Don't touch, don't touch. It's fake. Don't touch, don't touch. It's bad. Don't touch, don't touch. It hurts. Don't touch, don't touch. It destroys. Don't touch, don't touch. It's no doubt that the world is making progress in its quest to nip the dreaded coronavirus in the board. As more people the world over get vaccinated to be safe from the clutches of the virus. It's in the spirit of staying safe that we are the Standards Organization of Nigeria are committing resources to promote standardization. The idea is to help industries grow and ensure consumer satisfaction. 40 industries bag SON's mandatory conformity assessment program certificate as some market associations deep in partnership with SON to check the influx of fake and substandard products here in the south-south region of the country. Hello and welcome to your evening tonic on television. The program is Standard and You, reaching you from the Garden City in River State. Don't go anywhere because I'll be back shortly. The Standards Organization of Nigeria, SON, brings a new lease of life to Nigeria SMEs. SON has put a greater premium on developing standards to improve made in Nigeria products for export. We have developed more standards for products like Sesame, Coco, Gary, and more, courtesy of our accredited state-of-the-art laboratories. In keeping with the federal government's ease of doing business, SON has simplified its processes and turned around time for SONCAP, MANCAP, and other certification processes. SON has intensified mass market surveillance, raids, and seizures to reduce substandard products in circulation, and offenders shall be prosecuted. Join SON in reading our nation of substandard products. If you see something, say something. Standards Organization of Nigeria, improving lives through standards. Still watching Standard and You. Greetings from the Director General, Management, and Staff of the SON. And please accept our best wishes this Easter holiday. My name is Ife Inwa Okonkwo. Moving on, the number of those taking advantage of government support through the services of the SON are increasing by the day. Another 40 companies from various sectors of the economy have earned for themselves the prestigious SON's Mandatory Conformity Assessment Program Certificate, MANCAP, here in the south-south region of the country. Join me as I unveil these hard-working Nigerians. These are representatives of the 40 indigenous companies that have earned for themselves the prestigious award of the Standards Organization of Nigeria Mandatory Conformity Assessment Program, MANCAP Certificate. These proudly Nigerian brands situated in the south-south of Nigeria have all undergone the rigorous but rewarding SON's MANCAP certification process aimed at enhancing their manufacturing processes in line with Nigerian industrial standard to churn out goods of acceptable standard. Through dint of hard work and dedication, these companies have shown determination to adhere to excellence and quality assurance. For the Director General of the Standards Organization of Nigeria, who obviously was impressed by the large number, the benefits of the MANCAP certification to the companies are numerous. The SOM boss, who was represented by the South-South Regional Coordinator of the agency, said the large number is a confirmation of the acceptance of the scheme in that part of the country. The beginning of a journey sometimes starts with um, a step. And this is one of those uh, very solid steps that we've taken. Over the years, yeah, now we know that our standardization is permeating downstream. I continue to maintain that upstream is the standardization, elaboration or review of the standards. But that is, unless those standards are taken up, 
and implemented at the downstream, which are the processors and manufacturers, we still have a lot to do. But now the response from the manufacturers that there is, there is an increase in the uptake of these standards. Before we were having just very few companies coming for MANCAP certification. But you can see that this is a landmark certification. It means that our sensitization and awareness creation has taken a new level. It also means that our stakeholders in the manufacturing processes have started listening to this a consistent call for them to come up to the level of being certified because certification of your product is the only way to guarantee its continuity. It's the only way to make sure that your business does not collapse after a short start and operation. He congratulated the beneficiaries for not relenting in their journey to standardization which he explained has no destination and urged them to continue to improve on their manufacturing processes and never compromise on quality. The DG was quick to remind owners of the companies that failure to comply with the Nigerian industrial standard means automatic withdrawal of the certificate. When you start a, 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 a company, it's not just to make profits, maximize their profit and within a few years, you are out of the market. We want a consistency in your products in the market. And that means you have to make sure that you have the necessary backups that will enable you to last very long in the market. What we are going to do today is to borrow you the certificate. And when you borrow somebody something, if you start misusing it, you have the tendency to what? To withdraw it and get it back. So by so doing, we are giving it to you, please keep this and maintain the standard. And then the Standards Organization of Nigeria will monitor compliance, consistency in maintaining these standards. And that is why you'll be visited often through our quarterly mancap factory inspections. And we'll also visit you unannounced through our surveillance market monitoring. So we monitor you without notice so we can see what it is. Because apparently, if I write you that I'm coming, the tendency is that you sweep your house and get things ready for me to come. But if I pay you an unscheduled visit, then I will see you the way you are. And if also we try that and we still discover you maintain the, the status quo, we go to the market, we buy your product, we sample your product, we test them to see whether you are still maintaining the standard. So the standard is not just a mere ceremony. It's an indication that you should do better. The joy of representatives of the 40 companies knew no bound as they were presented with the MANCAP certificate. What it means, therefore, is that products from any of these manufacturers can now compete with those imported into the country. Owners of the companies told Standard & You that the certificate is a stamp of quality on their products, which they said has translated into increased patronage of their goods. I feel quite fulfilled and um, I feel a sense of responsibility because this is the highest uh, standard organization in Nigeria and this is representing Nigerian government recognizing our product that our products meet international standards. So for us, it's like we have received a higher responsibility to make sure that our products match any other product anywhere in the world. It was frustrating at a point, as seen, it's not easy to, to please them. It was not an easy journey at all. And I'm happy today because at the long run, we are here and we are happy that we have been certified. Do you know what that means? Four certificates from SON. It's not easy, so we are happy. Expert Paint is happy. With this certificate now, it is certain that um, a lot of people who have been looking down on Somax, you know, disdaining his products and all those things, we now realize that Somax Electric Company had been fully certified by Son and Manka. So uh, we, that's why, in fact, we are very, very happy. We are happy. We are really happy we received the Mancap certificate. 
because it's a sign that we have met the ISO standard, which means both quality and quantity we are satisfied. And that will increase our patronage. Professor Chibogu Eze of the River State University of Science and Technology spoke on the theme, Essoin Certification, a stimulus to industrial growth. Many of us in the manufacturing industry know about what I'm talking about, the DOM and MRP, which is Bill of Material and Required Planning Order. When you want to order for raw materials, you go to the warehouse, you say which one is here, is this one here, what we order. But once you go through the process of this standardization, what you are even good, your raw material becomes also standard. And you don't waste any money on that any longer. I have talked about the production error that you also avoid. In all this, and I will end it here, whether you are going to import, there is no way this business will go on without SON certification. I repeat, we have been encouraged that we might be soon exporting, so we will move from this to this one. Who will certify it SON? The Mandatory Conformity Assessment Program of the SON was introduced in 2006 to ensure that goods produced comply with the Nigerian Industrial Standard and other approved international standard. To some other stories now. Did you know that the Standards Organization of Nigeria and the Nigerian Bottling Company are deepening capacity to commitment to excellence and standardization? Managing Director of the NBC, Alfred Olajide, gave this indication when he led a management team from the company on a courtesy visit to the DG of SON, Malam Farouk Salim, in his office in Abuja. The managing director described the SON as the most responsive government agency in the country. According to the Scientific and Regulatory Affairs Director for Coca-Cola Nigeria, Fred Chiazo, the visit was to sort clearance on four areas of engagement with the SON. Standard for sampling, inspection logistics, mancap six months product number limit, and inability to access standards online. Malam Farouk Salim thanked his guests for the visit and assured them of the agency's determination to address their requests. Petroleum storage tanks suspected to be substandard being constructed at a proposed filling station in a poor resettlement area in Abuja have been put on hold by the Standards Organization of Nigeria. Leader of the enforcement team, Regional Coordinator North Central, Engineer Albert Wiberfoss, said this followed a series of investigations on the quality of the tanks and will be subjected to further analysis. And as part of its ongoing campaign against fake and substandard products, the agency seized and evacuated substandard gas cylinders from a retail shop in Babangida Market, Suleja, Niger State. The seizure was sequeled to a customer complaint to the agency who was a victim of the bad product. The coordinator, Niger State 2 of the SON, Malam Usman Adamu, urged consumers to report cases of suspected fake products to the agency, adding that SON will continue to take steps to protect consumers and ensure they get value for their money. The Director General of the Standards Organization of Nigeria, Malam Farouk Salim, has restated determination to provide small and medium enterprises with technical support to help their businesses grow. The SOM boss gave this assurance at the 32nd Enugu International Trade Fair in Enugu State. Malam Salim, who was represented by the Deputy Director Marketing of the SON, Mathias Bassi, described SMEs as engine of growth. The one trillion loan to boost local manufacturing and production across critical sectors of the economy is another way to rejuvenate the economy by the federal government through the CBN. SON has put in place lots of strategies and initiatives to foster rapid economic development of the country through elaboration of standards in the various sectors of the economy, such as agriculture, technology, health, industry, tourism and hospitality, oil and gas, amongst others. During the critical period of this pandemic, 
Some provided about 168 standards to deal with effects of the pandemic on businesses in Nigeria. Undertook quality assurance inspections of various personal protective equipment manufacturers, including face masks, face mask factories, while also providing hand bills on quality barriers marks for makers and users across Nigeria. In his efforts to further promote technology and bring business ideas that will enhance the Nigeria's economic growth, the SON has also put in place machinery to open new markets and partnership with state governments across the country on the development of micro and small medium enterprises. Through the signing of formal memorandum of understanding, the first of such was recently signed with Casina State Government. The DG acknowledged problems faced by operators, adding that the agency will continue to help local entrepreneurs grow to be relevant in the global market. SON's regional coordinator, Southeast Engineer Uoma Oluji, thanked the organizer of the fair, which she described as a viable platform to showcase made in Nigeria goods. Standards connect the world. The president recently signed the African Continental Free Trade Agreement. And the only thing that will give us market access is standard. There is no shortcut. Standards play a critical role. Made in Nigerian goods, for them to compete globally, they must meet standards. So it's important. And the role of some is very, very important for the growth and development of this country. COVID-19 taught all of us that it is important that we look inwards, look inwards. And I think that's what must have um, informed the opinion of uh, the ESIMA members to come on with this team. And we need to ensure that Nigeria takes the pride of place in the Committee of Nations through standards. The theme of the fair was promoting new technologies, business ideas and strategies for rapid economic growth and development in Nigeria. The only thing we remember as we did drive, Nagbo, Gwa, Gwa. The next time I opened my eyes, I saw I see myself for hospital, people would say, "Na expire tire, put me for this condition." Hey, yeah. <laughs> tire na chemical o, I beg. Make you the check your tire DOT number to sabi when it go expire. Passenger will love him life. Must sabi the tire DOT number o. New tire self na only four years it get to expire. Whether you use them or not, to sabi the date when it go expire, just add four years to the last digit of the DOT. Expire tire auto kumbo tire fit to cause road accident. Beware. S O N D C. Standards Organization of Nigeria, SUN, improving life through standards. The message is clear. Say no to fake and substandard products. Buy right and join the quality vanguard to ensure product safety and quality. Alimoto C4 is standing by to treat your messages in our feedback corner. Over to you, Alimot, and how is Lagos? Thank you, Ifoma. Lagos is fine. It's majorly used for domestic cooking in many Nigerian homes because it's easy to use, environment friendly, and cooks fast. This cylindrical pressure vessel stores clean and efficient cooking gas, known as liquefied petroleum gas, LPG. However, the LPG cylinder is a life-endangering product which must be handled with utmost care. I'm pleased to tell you I'll be sharing five standard tips on the LPG cylinder, and that will be right after responding to your feedback messages. My name is Halimot Osifo. Welcome. Yusuf from Kaduna says, I love your program. Whenever I'm traveling, I'm afraid, always looking at the tires in the park, so I select vehicles. I'm glad you have this platform to educate us. Thank you so much, Yusuf. It's nice to know you're being quality conscious, and we hope to serve you better. Prince from Akwaibom says, do we have tires which are manufactured in Nigeria? 
Presently, we don't have tires manufactured in Nigeria, but SON is willing to partner with you to ensure that we have made in Nigeria goods and we have standards for tires already so you can come on board when you're ready. Sharon Wilson from Lagos says, God bless you richly, SON. Thanks for setting standard in the manufacturing industry for our nation. Keep up the good work. Thank you so much, Sharon. It's nice to hear from you. Onye from Katsina says, how can I identify a fake and a real product? Well, it all begins with your knowledge of the products in particular. Identifying an original product from a fake one begins with your knowledge of the particular products. Sometimes you might not be able to identify based on physical examination. You might need to go through laboratory tests. So just ensure you buy your products from reputable stores and they carry SON's certification marks. Favor says, I love your program. I would love to watch next week. Thank you so much, Favor. Keep watching. Abdul Salam Ishakur from Abuja says, I wish this program to take Nigeria to a higher level. Thank you so much, Abdul Salam. It's nice to hear from you. Now to five standard tips on the liquefied petroleum gas LPG cylinder. <music> Say no to fairly used cylinders. Buy brand new cylinders that carry SON certification marks from reputable stores. Be alert. LPG cylinders expire 15 years after manufacture. Always keep and transport your cylinders in an upright position. Ensure your LPG cylinder is kept in a well-ventilated space. Turn off regulator and valve when not in use. When there is a gas leakage, open the windows and doors to disperse the gas and do not operate any electrical switches, appliance or equipment in the kitchen. There you have it. Five standard tips on the liquefied petroleum gas cylinder. And that concludes this week's episode of your favorite public sensitization program, Standard and You. Do you have a question, complaint, or suggestion? You can send in your messages with your full name and location to the number 0705972 Follow us on Facebook at Standard and You, Instagram and Twitter at Standard and You underscore. You can watch the program anywhere, anytime online at youtube.com forward slash Standard and You. As always, buy original. Sell authentic and use only the best. Stay safe. Why you dey buy yeah? Take product yeah. Make you dey careful. No go damage your life.